Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to install an extension in Magento Community using the Mage command line tool. So if you are on a server, I would recommend you doing this on a dev server with a site with the proper backup. Um, and uh, you can log into your server with SSH and do this if you're working locally. Uh, you can just open up your terminal, and we're going to browse to our sites directory like usual and just like when we use the mage be uh before we just have to get into our site here and now that i'm in here it's really a pretty simple command since we used mage before uh, we don't have to run any sort of extra stuff we just have to run this install command and so it starts with a dot forward slash mage just like usual and we're going to type install and then now we want to use the uh, what channel we're going to be downloading this from. So let's go to Magento Connect and grab an extension here. And let's just find one that's free that we can install really quickly and, you know, make sure that it's working. I'm in um, most popular community of version 1.7. So this Fu Man Speedster looks like it's pretty good. And... Uh, you notice they have some stuff here, but really I just wanted a free, a free module here to test out. And if you remember when we installed for Magento Connect, we clicked install now and we grabbed the Magento Connect 2.0 extension key. Uh, this is sort of the same. Basically, what we need to do here is copy parts of this. And in fact, I'm going to copy everything until a community and you and the forward slash as well. So I'm going to copy this right here. Um, and I'm going to come to my terminal. I'm going to paste it in here. Notice how it's connect20.magentocommerce.com slash community. And I'm on Magento 1.7. So if you're running 1.7, I believe it's 1.5 and higher. It's on Magento Connect 2.0. So you're going to want to use this Connect 20. Um, and then so we're going to have a space here. And then it's going to be this end part, this Fu Man Speedster. So come back to our terminal and paste this here and you'll notice we have dot mage install and then it's the channel space and then the extension so a common mistake would be not having the space here so make sure that's there so if you want to go ahead and hit enter you're going to see installing community and successfully install package installed perfect so if you haven't used this mage tool, go back and watch the mage video on setting it up in the basic usage. But uh, if you were in the last video and you saw, you know, the in, uh, installation install process for extensions, you know, it might have been OK, but maybe you were having some permissions errors on your folders or just a, you couldn't get it to work please try this method because it's really, you know, you could be, you know, afraid of terminal or something, but it's really easy. And to be honest, it, it works more frequently and you don't have to worry about permission stuff. So basically that just downloaded there. And now we just need to make sure that we have the correct uh, ownership on these folders. And so I have the owner as Scott and the group as staff, because that's just uh, the way this is locally set up on my server. And what happens if you install like this, it's going to give them uh, permissions of root and root, I believe. So what I'm going to do is, notice how I'm still in my Magento folder, I'm going to cd one directory out of this, and I'm going to type chon space hyphen r, and this is changing the owner of every single folder within this folder I'm about to declare. So I'm gonna say change the owner to Scott and then colon staff. And the folder that I want to do that is my Magento site. I'm gonna enter and it gave me a bunch of permissions. So I'm gonna try that again, but I'm gonna say sudo chone hyphen r Scott staff and this is going to be Magento. That's my password, enter. Cool. So one way we can verify that is by 
you could browse there in terminal or something, but I'm actually just gonna show it in here because it's a little bit more visual uh, for this approach. So one thing that it probably added is it probably added something to the app and then it probably added a file in at etc and then modules. So um, of course my assumption was correct and here's our fuman speedster.xml. You can see this file was added just now. And so if I inspect this, you can see it has uh, the owner of Scott and staff just like I wanted it to. Cool, so we now have that. Let's make sure it was working on our site. So I am going to log out. And while I'm logged out here, I'm gonna CD back into Magento. And I'm gonna type dot mage space and then clear cache. And let's hit enter. It's gonna clear my cache for me. And now I can just sign back into the site. And we should see our Fu Man Speedster somewhere in the admin. Like I said, I haven't used this extension before. Uh, so we'll see exactly where it is, but they should just show up in the config. So if we go to system configuration and let's scroll down under advanced, we should see Fuman Speedster is set to being enabled. So uh, they do say on their site, however, not to disable here. So don't, if you're using this module, don't disable it. Follow their instructions how to uninstall it. But we have it installed and working Obviously, if there was uh, a bit more of a front end uh, feel to it or something like our other extension, we'd be able to see that here. But it looks like it's installed fine. And as far as we can see, the front end of our site is working just fine. And it seemed pretty snappy to me. Who knows if it was that much faster, but of course I don't have any caching turned on. So that's how you install an extension with Terminal using Mage. It's simple, you just use dot forward slash mage, space install, space then the channel, space and then the module. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Uh, hit us up at Twitter at, at LevelUpTuts. You can reach me on Twitter at S Talinsky. And we're on Facebook, we're on Google+, Plus. although we're not on all of them equally. Probably Twitter and Facebook the most often. And as always, if you send an email, I'm trying to get to it. So thanks for watching. and. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.